This electric bus recharges on the go and has no driver. This concept driverless bus was designed in part by Canadian engineer Charles Bombardier and may one day help Canadians get from point A to B just like normal coaches. The driverless bus, named Toboxy, uses silent electric motors. This would be powered by batteries that get energy from power transfer switches fixed to the road. Passengers would be able to order one from their phone or hail a passing Toboxy after first registering with their details and photo. This helps the vehicle recognize their face. The bus then computes the best route for the passenger's destination, factoring in other options from the local transportation network. The vehicle can ferry a maximum of a dozen passengers, including two wheelchairs. It has angled walls so people can half sit or lean during their journey. The sleek-looking design was designed by Ashish Tolkar. Nicholas Latandra, who is also working on a new electric bus design at latanda.com, also played a part in developing the Toboxy concept. Keep watching for more on driverless vehicle tech. Uber driverless truck delivers beer. A driverless Uber truck loaded with 50,000 cans of Budweiser made an 120-mile journey across Colorado last week in the first commercial shipment by a self-driving truck. Auto is Uber's self-driving truck subsidiary. Its vehicles can drive autonomously on the highway, leaving the driver free to do other tasks or relax. Auto's Volvo trucks are retrofitted with LiDAR, radar, and cameras, which collect data that onboard computers translate into driving directions. The self-driving trucks maintain a safe distance from other vehicles and only change lanes when necessary. The technology only works on the highway, so drivers are still needed to navigate trickier city roads. The company believes that in future, self-driving trucks will drive on the interstate with human drivers handling the last few miles into town. Trucks haul 70% of freight in the U.S., but the industry has a shortfall of 48,000 drivers, which could reach 175,000 within 10 years. Auto hopes that driverless trucks can make up the deficit of drivers, reduce emissions, and increase efficiency. It also thinks driverless trucks will make roads safer because human error is almost always the reason behind the 400,000 truck crashes in the U.S. each year, which claim 4,000 lives. So I guess we can all drink to that. Mercedes-Benz launches drone delivery cargo van. German automaker Mercedes-Benz has unveiled an electric van equipped with package delivery drones. The Vision Van is an electric vehicle with a range of up to 270 kilometers. Its rooftop serves as a launch and landing pad for Matternet M2 drones, which can carry a package of 4.4 pounds. All packages are scanned and sorted by robots before loading onto the van by a driverless handling vehicle. The van can calculate the ideal delivery routes for the driver, who steers the van using a joystick. The van is equipped with a robotic shelving system that automatically locates and prepares the package for the drone inside the cargo compartment. The drone can be used to deliver packages to destinations that are not accessible to the van or the driver. The system also locates and prepares the package for the driver if it can be manually delivered. The company said it will continue to explore the opportunities of innovative van-related business. Therefore, it created a new organizational unit called Future Transportation Systems, which involved research teams in Stuttgart, Berlin, and Silicon Valley. Technology puts autonomous vehicles in the driving seat. A future in which self-driving vehicles travel our roads is edging closer, as automakers introduce an ever-increasing range of innovations to their cars. One example of smart car technology is Ford's blind spot warning system. Radar sensors in the tail light detect other vehicles in the driver's blind spot and trigger a warning light in the side mirrors when it's unsafe to change lanes. Those radar sensors also detect oncoming vehicles when the vehicle is backing out of a parking spot. Other parking assistants already on the market include a feature in several Ford models that tells the driver when to hit the accelerator or brake. Meanwhile, some BMW drivers can already park their cars by pushing a button on a key fob. Today's cars use radar, sonar, cameras, or a combination of all three for active cruise control. 
This feature allows the car to drive autonomously at a fixed speed or at the speed of the vehicle in front, slowing down and speeding up automatically. However, the vehicle will emit a warning if the driver needs to take evasive action. The technology preps the brakes and will even brake automatically if the driver doesn't react in time. Some Mercedes cars can tell the difference between a four-legged and a two-legged obstacle and will brake harder for people. Cameras in today's cars can be used to detect lane markings and warn drivers to stay in their lane. This is designed to help tired drivers, but in practice often applies to those who are texting on their cell phones. If lane warnings aren't heeded, this technology can steer the car back into the correct lane by hitting the brakes or turning the steering wheel. Tesla's electric cars are already capable of driving on autopilot and changing lanes without the driver's input. In the near future, we should expect to see Traffic Jam Autopilot, which will allow drivers to take their hands off the wheel in heavy traffic and let the car do the work. Looking further ahead, automakers are working on autonomous valet parking, which will see cars drop passengers off, find their own parking space, then pick the passengers up when summoned by smartphone. However, we are still quite some time away from when every vehicle on the road is an autonomous one. But thanks to advances made by automakers, that day hopefully isn't too far away. Singapore gets dibs on world's first self-driving taxi. A Singaporean startup won bragging rights after being the first to offer a self-driving taxi service to the public, beating out Uber and other giants. Newtonomy uses small electric vehicles equipped with LiDAR technology that uses lasers to map out its environment. Two cameras are mounted inside to detect obstacles and traffic lights. The service currently runs a 6-kilometer route in Singapore's One North Business Park. Invited users access a phone app to request free rides on one of two test vehicles, a Mitsubishi iMev and a Renault Zoe. Although only open to about a dozen people so far, the trial program is expected to expand to accommodate thousands within a few months. A driver will be with passengers in the car during the trial run to serve as a backup in case of any emergencies. Newtonomy is looking to expand the fleet to about 100 by 2018 and believes the driverless taxis could reduce cars on the road from 900,000 to 300,000. Newtonomy's public run comes days after Uber announced plans for a new driverless service in Pittsburgh. The ride-sharing giant had been set to launch the service using Volvo SUVs fitted with an autonomous driving system by the end of August. Self-driving buses go on trial in Finland. Finland is testing driverless electric buses in the country's capital. Two driverless EZ10 minibuses with obstacle detection technology are being tested on public roads in Helsinki alongside other vehicles and pedestrians. The minibuses can hold up to 12 passengers each and can reach a top speed of 40 kilometers per hour but travel at an average speed of 10 kilometers per hour. Officials say the buses could be used in the future to connect existing public transportation systems. Finland is a world leader in trials of automated transport, partly because Finnish law doesn't require vehicles on the road to have a driver. Helsinki is testing the buses as part of an ambitious plan to make car ownership unnecessary by 2025 by providing a point-to-point -point mobility on-demand system. The trial began on August 18th and runs for a month. Volvo Car Group is getting ready to unveil an autonomous self-parking car. The driver of the self-parking car would use a smartphone app to command the vehicle to park. The car would recognize its surroundings using built-in cameras and sensors. If an object gets in the way, the vehicle would react accordingly before finishing its command. Volvo has a record of being an early adopter of new safety technology and invented the now ubiquitous three-point seatbelt.